Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at you guys with a brand new customization video on these Adidas Ultra Boosts behind me. But before we get into that, I wanted to let you guys know about this jacket real quick because I know some people are going to be asking about it. This is Alpha Industries NASA jacket. Now Logic wears this one and a lot of people were going crazy when I reviewed it. So if you guys missed out on that review, make sure to check it in the description down below. I will have a link to their website as well as a 20% off deal. I'm not sure if it's going to be a code or if the whole site is going to be 20% off. Now this will be tomorrow on Monday only. So make sure you check that out. The link again will be down below in the description. Huge shout out to Megan from Alpha Industries for letting me know so I could share that deal with you guys. So yeah man, dope jackets, Alpha Industries. What up? And moving right along with this video, I'm going to be showing you how to black out the midsoles on your Adidas Ultra Boost. Now I did this on a pair of Jordan 11s a long time ago when the Dirty Breads were just coming out. And it's pretty much the same concept, but a lot of people on Twitter were requesting this video. So I don't want to hear everybody saying like, yo, you already did this, man. You're doing the same thing again and again. A lot of people requested this, so I'm going to do it, okay? I'm going to do it! Let me give you guys a quick before and after so you guys can see how big of a difference this look actually does to the shoe. Now, starting off with the stock shoe, it's just regular black and white. And if you guys are wondering, I did do a little custom on the top as well. I removed the cages using T. Blake's tutorial, so big shout out to you, T. Blake. But I will make my own tutorial on that soon, in case you guys are wondering. And I did do a little lace swap up here. But anyways, we're not going to focus on that too much, because you guys are looking at this video to black out the midsoles right here. So. We're going to get right into that. We need to start off with the materials list, so let's run it. The materials list isn't bad for this one. It might look like it needs a lot, but it really doesn't. So starting off, we are going to be using Jet Black Leather Dye from Angelus Direct. Again, I will leave everything down below in the description in case you guys wanted to purchase anything. So we're doing that Jet Black Leather Dye. I like to use two paintbrushes, that's just a personal preference. You can use one. I use one to apply the dye, I use the same one to apply the paint, and then I use a different one to apply the finisher. Next up, you'll need Leather Preparer and Deglazer. This will pretty much remove the factory finish from the midsole. Now, I'm not sure with this one if that's necessary, but I just do it anyways to make sure this lasts as long as possible. And you'll probably need like a rag or a cotton ball. I know I don't have that on the screen right now, my bad. You can use regular black, and for the people that ask me the difference between flat black and regular black, regular black is a little bit more shiny and flat black is a little bit more dull. I'm going to be using matte finisher for this one just to seal the deal. Let's get right into this tutorial. To prep the midsoles up, I will be using an old rag right here, as well as the leather prepare and deglazer from Angelus Direct, as I have mentioned in the materials list. All you need to do is get a little bit of this on here and just wipe down the midsole. And like I said, I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I like to take the extra step just to ensure that this does last for a long time. So we're gonna get to that right now. Let's get it. After you're done with that, I think that it's a good idea to just give it a nice wipe down with the side of the cloth that's still new, and this will get rid of any excess leather preparer and deglazer, just so it's not sitting on the shoe. So just wipe it down real quick, make sure it's dry, and then we could get to the next step. The next step is going to require dyeing the midsoles. Now just in case you guys are wondering why you dye the midsoles, it's because this white right here, if there's paint above it and it cracks, you will see the white underneath. So if you dye it black right here and the paint is black on top, if the paint gets scuffed or if anything chips off, the black underneath will give that same effect and it will look like it's not even cracking. So that's why it's very important to not skip out on this step. Make sure you purchase that jet black leather dye. It definitely goes a long way when you do customs like this. So like I said before, I like to use two different paint brushes. One is for the finisher, so I'll remove that right now. And then this one right here I will use for the dye as well as the paint for the midsole. And also, just a quick tip for all my beginners out there, keep the dye in the box like this so you don't knock it over. If you guys are dipping into a bottle like this and you know, you knock it over, it's done. But right here it's a little bit harder to knock over in the box. So make sure you do not make that mistake. Keep the dye in the box and make sure to shake it before you use it. Let's start applying this. 
I've been undercover, undercover with many lovers. But the chick I'm with made me forget the stupid shit with others that I did. And I never lived down. A small town that loves the gossip, so you know it get around. That's why I be chilling in my room most of the time. Internet reverted to the fullest, trying to find why we online. Googling that in the sunshine's crunch time. Tindering, looking for girls that's fun size. But to my surprise, I ain't hit it and quit it. We got acquainted and she got me through my. Here's a quick look at the midsoles after doing two layers of that black dye. As you guys can see, it's not really a full black. Now it's going to look a little bit purple because the dye is kind of strong and I'm using the older dye. I believe that Angelus toned it down just a little bit so it's not oversaturated. But yeah, man, this doesn't really matter too much. You just want it to be nice and dark. So when you wear it, this is going to be underneath. So what we're gonna do now is hit it with two coats of flat black or regular black. It all depends on the look that you're going for. I'm going for a flat black look and I'll finish it off with a finisher to make it just a little bit glossy. But yeah, man, two coats of flat black and we should be good to go. And I think all the time, but why we living life blindly as our destinies and wind. They're not finding the nothing we wanted to happen, happen as planned. So it's how you react when you ain't. So this is what we're working with right now. I did two coats of flat black. Now we're going to put on some matte finisher. Like I said before, the finisher is optional, but I really do recommend it just because we're painting the midsoles and this will seal the deal. I think the matte just adds the right amount of shine to it. You guys can mess around with high gloss, normal, whatever you guys want. Again, it's totally up to you. So I'm just gonna put one layer on and then the deal is done. So now we have our final product. Honestly, this is one of the easiest customs to do, so I would recommend it to anybody that's new to customs and wants to try something a little bit different. Being that the outsole is black and the uppers are black as well, you don't have to be too cautious when it comes to painting and dyeing, but I would recommend being just a little bit careful when it comes to that. I will throw these babies on feet just so you guys can get an on feet look. The music info will be down below in the description and the pant info as well. I will leave the cages on this because I'm saving it for another tutorial and that will also allow you guys to get a look at the cages on and the cages off on the other side. So if you guys can do me a big favor and hit that like button if you guys like this video, that would go a long way. And also follow me on my social media accounts. My Instagram is at Sneakerhead in the Bay and my Twitter is at Bay Area Shoehead in case you guys want to keep updated with my life and my future projects. It's been cool guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. That's the way that I'm feeling. Smoking out on a beach, living life without a ceiling. Cause it's me and you just sipping, bro. Gazing up at them stars, conversating about the future. And this what we call it Mars. On some fucking shit, baby, we gon' dip up out to France. Make some music, live it up. Anything you dream of, girl, it's yours. Cause I done had a lot of money and I've made nothing at all. So now I see that the memories and time span are critical. And I want it all. Baby, can you be that? And I don't say that often, so I'm hoping that you see that. I just be Back, chillin' with the cheese, that tape on bang, bow, bow, hit the beats, stop taking weed, naps after Mickey D's, waking up like, where that weed I Get to sip and get to smoke, let me say this ain't no joke, that the minute that I met you couldn't help but feel some hope, and now I'm falling deeper for you every time I take a sip, take a rip, take a dip, young love degenerate.